All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight upright. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. Well, I'm not sure if she's a third degree or a fourth degree Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. All I know is that you are in imminent danger every time she closes the distance. Oh, the belt color hasn't changed, John, but they are just adding stripe after stripe after stripe. <laughs> she's got so many stripes on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt that it's unbelievable. And because of that ability to do Jiu-Jitsu at such a high level, it's almost like you're going into biology class whenever you go on the ground right. with her. Because as you're thinking, if I do step one to get to step two, she's already on step five. Right. She's working on the finish before you even understand that you're in danger. The, the quick strike ability in the jujitsu is something not many people possess. I cheated to pass my biology final in college. <laughs> I wish there was a way to cheat in jujitsu, <laughs> but she doesn't need to. Big spot for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 101 pounds. Black Mamba. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, USA, Merciless. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. to reach advantage on the tail of the tape and certainly made good use of it there. What a punch. Nice leg kick land. Oh, she blocks the punch. Right hand on point. Well, she talked a lot about the path of least resistance being the clinch. And she clinches here early. And watch for her to start to mix in that great judo background that we've seen her do on so many different occasions. Straight punch lands. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's, it's exhausting. This is a position 
where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your That's how you scramble, folks. She blocked the punch. And now she's got the tie clinch. Oh, she's got as good a tie clinch as anybody in this division, and she has gotten the tie clinch here. She got the tie clinch because she's so well-versed in going and securing that position. Great job. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Tie clinch four here. We'll see what she can do with it. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Right hand punch with the clinch. All right, so no support. Oh, beautiful scramble by her there to avoid the takedown and get this fight back to the field. Just missed with the left there. Again, back into this position. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch. She has it here. She secured the tie clinch. Now she's going to start to elbow and knee to try to put damage on her opponent. Oh, beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast she throws. Beautiful head kicks. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? And she landed a kick there, DC. That was well done. Well done. She does a great job of recognizing the opening and getting the leg there. See, see there? Oh, beautiful oh. even Ari roll there. And now she's got a heel hook attempt, DC. You know, she told us Thursday about the flash. And she's got it in droves, and you saw it just there. Now we'll see if she can finish this off. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, right to the mount. This is not as dangerous as it used to be in fighting. You know, before, guys were trying to sit in that full guard. Right now, it's just more dangerous for you on top because guys have so many submissions that they can attempt from this position. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well, she lands the punch there. You know, it's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another thing to take advantage. Nicely done by her there. Oh, big punch land. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Right hand punch in the clinch. There's no tell on that leg. Back and forth we go. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, man, that hurt to watch. Beautiful land by her with that hook. She wraps it around the guard and always finds her target. And they separate. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, can you hear the reaction from the crowd as another outside leg kick lands? It's like taking a baseball bat and hitting it up against the wall. You hear the impact of that leg kick. Big kick land. Let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. All right, so she was able to take her opponent down really at will in the previous round. We'll see if her opponent has made the proper adjustments here. It's going to be very difficult because the way that she attacks is so diverse. She's never just doing one thing and giving a pattern. Right. It's always like, it's like algebra, right? Her opponent's doing basic mathematics, but she's doing algebra. She's giving her so much information that she gets lost. And when her opponent gets lost, she's able to secure top position and really, really start to get damage off. I get anxiety just hearing the word algebra. Oh, you do well in that? No, John, no, I did horribly. Uh, I thought that I could use my graphic calculator to give uh, the answers. She's 
starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful punch. Ooh, uppercut lands. We'll see where she goes from here now. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. So she counters with a punch and is able to land there. Again, she has a big reach advantage in this fight. And she certainly put it to good use there. Back in the clinch now. Takedown defense holds up. Good punch. Combination lands for her there. She would seem to be in the zone. Is that something you hey, feel as a fighter? I like that. Yes, she's in the zone. She everything that she throws seems to be finding its target. And there she goes using her jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard or this fight could end soon. Well, she's gonna have to do something. I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up, the jab goes to the body, then the jab goes to the head. If you start worrying too much about her jab up top. She'll just start pounding that jab right into your midsection, which, which then will just empty the gas tank. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, she blocks the punch. Oh, man, head kick land. So she defends another shot there. So the defensive wrestling has certainly been key for her here tonight. Yes, it's been very important for her to stay upright. She recognizes when her opponent is level changing, matching the level and making her pay for every single takedown attempt. Not only is she sprawling, but on the way out, she's putting damage on her opponent to discourage more shot. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Real quick leg kick. Big bruise starting on the right side of her body. Not good. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without me. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. It's a good right hand right there. Oh! Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Oh, she landed that kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Again, back into this position. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that. Oh, she lands a combination now. Nice volume of strikes, and it was hard to find a miss in there. She's on point. Volume is very important, but the accuracy stands out above all in that combination. Ooh, what a punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Caught that kick there. Oh, gorgeous straight punch there shortly after she catches the leg. So she has got her opponent's timing down to a T right now. Relax. Right, DC, take us through the replay. Storyline in that round, certainly her kicking game. She knew that her opponent had more of a boxing stance, so the kicks would be available. She took full advantage of that over the course of that first round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and shout out to the Diaz brothers and everybody watching in the 209, because it looked like the Diaz sister there in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy on the 
she took that same type of approach. I will set a pace that you are not able to keep up with. I will put my hands on you over and over again. I'm not going to hit you hard every time, but I'm going to keep touching you until eventually you're going to melt in front of me. Well, we told you off the top, she's got the longer reach and certainly made good use of it in landing that straight punch there. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Oh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, spinning back fist for her out of nowhere. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, a lot of debilitated leg kicks have landed tonight. You see that left thigh starting to show signs of bruising. Nice kick. All the damage to that leg starting to take its toll. You see her limping a little bit. She blocked the punch. That one stuck in. Nice. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Right back to the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Battle for position here. Nice. She's back in the clinch. Oh, rips the body shot there. Not there. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. If your opponent has in the clinch, Pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice punch there. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Another clinch position. She slips that left hand there. Big kick land. Oh, how good was that right hand? Beautiful connection by her there. Right down the pipe, right on the chin. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Spinning back fist! Didn't see that one coming. Oh, nice job to land the knee strike there. She's got a lot of size for this division and certainly makes it easier to get inside and raise that limb to the target. All right, both women now continuing to try to get a more dominant position here in the clinch. I can hear Dominic Cruz just screaming underhooks. My ears are bleeding a little bit. Yeah, underhook, underhook, underhook. It's the key in that position. You gotta control the underhook to win offensively and control the underhook if you're trying to escape defensively. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, the head kick lands. Now connects with the right. Oh, did she get tagged by that combination there? And unless they're going to give her headgear between the rounds, she better start raising that guard. She's got to start doing something, but it's a testament to her opponent. Throwing so many strikes, she's being so accurate with everything that she's throwing. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open, and she will dig big, brutal knees to the body. And they separate. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking. And she also has a pretty good gas tank, so she doesn't appear to be worried about that. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds.
All right, so that's the end of the round, and we'll see how she deals with this cut on her cheek. It is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. I guess that goes without saying. The cut man will try to nip it in the bud and prevent it from becoming more of a factor here moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick, so why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? And she is landing them with full force every time she goes. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Good stick. Big head kick. Well, eventually she will turn this defense into offense, but she seems to see these strikes coming from a mile away. She sees them a mile away, and the hands are exactly where they're supposed to be, right on the chin. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Big kick land. Oh, nice connection by her there. And when you cut your opponent around the eye, you gotta go right back at it. And she is doing a great job of showing no mercy. She is landing over and over in that exact spot. Leg kick. She's got as good a tie clinch as anybody in this division, and she has gotten the tie plum here. She got the tie clinch because she's so well versed in going and securing that position. Great job. All right, so again, that's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, good series of punches by her there. She's in her zone. She's flowing right now. Big kick land. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes to go. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land a beautiful front to the head. Real sneaky body kick. All right, so the narrative in this one continues to be her educated jab and once again using that weapon to keep her opponent at bay. She started to write the story in round one and she has continued down the path to victory behind a beautiful jab. What a phenomenal, phenomenal boxer we are watching tonight. Right hand punch from the clinch. She gets to her spot, the tie clinch. And then she starts to let the knees fly. And she caught the kick. Nice job to land the straight punch there. So you thought maybe she'd go for the takedown after catching the leg. Instead, decides to go back to her bread and butter, her striking, and certainly found the target there. Just misses there with the left. So a nice job by her there to block the strike. Doing a pretty good job raising those hands up and, of course, trying to protect what is a pretty significant cut. If she would have done this in the first place, she wouldn't be dealing with the right. cut that she's dealing with now. But now that she's been cut, she understands that she has to limit the damage to that eye. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Yes, yes. Big kick. Yes. Trying to kick the leg out. Debilitating knee lands yet again. I've been short my whole life, DC, and I'm envious right now seeing this taller fighter realize so much success as she lands another knee. Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations tonight. She's got to let it fly, man. She needs to let the combinations fly. She's got to find the confidence. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Nice move punch. a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. <laughs> big elbow there. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, big left hook there. <laughs> there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive head kick. Beautiful kick. It's broken, I think. 
30 seconds now to go on the round. Beautiful strike. Oh, she landed a huge knee to the head. Oh! And we got a fight on our hands. Just unable to quite find that range. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's gonna take one more that's gonna end the night. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Five more minutes to victory to do anything in five minutes. This is what we train for. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round, forthcoming. Great punch landed with so much power. Another clinch position. And there comes the separation now. Oh, big head kick. She slips that left hand there. Oh, she blocks the punch. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's gonna be the first one to attempt to take down? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's gonna be the one that makes the first move? Punch over the top. Fire right over the top. Her opponent in a world of trouble now. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to do. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh, big shot lands. And they separate. Big knee lands there. Visibly limping here. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. Nice land there with the right punch. Easy to see why that is her weapon of choice. Great right hand. Nice land. We got the turtle in that kick. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. Back and forth we go here. Oh, big knee there. Throwing hard in the pocket. Well, not sure if there's an injury or something, but here we are late in this fight, and she absolutely needs a ball. Oh. Oh. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Now to go in the fight. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Out. There it is. And this might just be a matter of time. Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, no 
doubt about it, that is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 47 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Black Mamba! Well, how about this young woman as the celebration is on? She sat down in our fighter meeting and she told us to a man, to a woman, I'm going to submit her at some point in this fight, and that's exactly how she gets it done. That's exactly how she got it done. She knew where the fight needed to be. And the moment she got a chance, the moment she got the submission locked in,